hello friends today we are going to see snowflake path and we'll see how to set up the uh, snowflake programmatic access token using command line or maybe uh, snowflake editor so without uh, waiting for anything let me just quickly grab to okay, snow site so i will create a dummy user called rajiv ji and you can see that uh, for this user i have not created any password uh, and I also have set up the pass, uh, user type as person. That means it's a uh, human account. So now user is created. You can see the message. Now let me list down all the user which I have in the account. To reconfirm. So you can see that the user has been created today. And if we move toward the end, you can see that the type of the user is person. That's a human account and has password is false. That means there is no password for this account so I can't connect with this account using any password so let me quickly alter the user and add the programmatic access token to do that I have to use add programmatic access token and then the token name let me quickly execute this and now you can see that it has given me the token let me quickly grab this and paste it over here let me quickly list down the path eligible for this particular user Rajiv Ji and you can see that there is only one path which name is path Rajiv Ji right and this expires on 20th of May which means that by default whenever you create any uh, path it will be uh, eligible for 15 days of expiry so for 15 days it will be uh, active and after 15th day that means the 16 days it will get expired automatically and then you have to rotate your password to make it unable okay all right so now you can see that the path is available let me quickly uh, go on the screen let me quickly clear the screen oh sorry okay let me exit this clear the screen and then we'll show you so if i go here take some time clear the screen let me use this and then I will provide the password which I got in the form of PAT. Okay. Okay. So it allowed me to connect. Let me quickly grab the current role. So give me the current role is public so that means I am able to connect let me quickly go back to the snow site and uh, so at the moment I only have one path right what will happen if I rename this path to something different let me quickly do that so if I rename and if I again list down the eligible path for this so you can see the name of the path has been changed but I'm still a connected to this and let me quickly run this select statement see if I'm able to execute so this is still valid I'm able to rename but nothing impact my current session let me quickly exit this session and reconnect and see if I'm able to connect so let me execute this and then again grab this password and let prompt me for asking for password I'm not sure why it's taking time let me paste the path let me put the enter so you can see that I am still able to connect even after changing the path let me execute exit this session move back to snow site what I will do is now I will just rotate the password and the moment I will rotate you will see that I will have two pass two pad token against this particular user let me quickly execute this so now you can say see that I have a different password for this new part which I rotated let me quickly put it over here and if I again list down all the pad for this particular user you can see there are two user you can see 
the older password the pad which i generated initially is now valid till tomorrow and it will get expired automatically and the rotated password is now here with this name so basically it swap the pad the old pad get will get expired by tomorrow it will not expire you immediately but it also generated a new pad and swap with the existing name and it's valid for 20 till 20 which was initially valid right so now if i go and try to connect with both the pad i think both the password it will allow me to connect let me quickly try with old password first because it's valid till tomorrow i think i will be able to connect and then i will try with that new pad password as well so take quite a couple of seconds to reflect me for password so you can see that it allow me to connect with the old password and let me grab the new pad now okay all right and now let me paste and it also still allow me to connect so that means both pad is available for today but the previous pad will get expired by tomorrow and this pad will be eligible for <coughs> connecting me till 20th now let me just ex exit this let me clear the screen okay now let me show you how you can expire the existing password immediately say example if i want to rotate the pad but i want to expire the current token immediately so i can put the number of minutes over here so i put zero that means it will execute immediately and expire the password and give me the new password token so now this is my new password token from which i will be able to connect so grab let me grab this so we'll try with this hopefully it should not allow me to connect with this and then i will try with this hopefully it should allow me to connect but before doing that let me quickly go and list on all the pad for this particular user you will see three one with expired you can see this was the previous one which you got expired another one which was uh, which one is the first one which will get expired tomorrow and this is the new right so let me try uh, connecting with the second password and the third password let me see if i allow me to connect oh shit mm, no let me quickly okay so see because i have expired that immediately it says like programmatic access token is removed now let me try with the new password which is the third one so let me quickly go here grab this and execute this now it will allow me to connect so see now i am able to connect with the new password so that means this password will expire tomorrow this password already expired because i forcefully do that and this is my the latest password so let me execute this now if i want to remove the pad from a particular user i can do that so let me just quickly grab all the pad from here let me look for the active one so you can see that this is still active but till tomorrow right and uh, let me first try to connect and then we'll try to remove so let me first try with the first password now second password is uh, anyways expired because i did that let me try with the first and then i will like, remove this as well so it allow me to connect all right uh, let me clear the screen and then i will okay let me remove this uh, active one so what i'm doing is i am doing the alter user and then removing the pad this particular fra pad from here right now you will see two record in this particular user one is already expired one is still active which is the third one let me grab this third one and let me try to connect so before doing third one let me first connect with the first one because i now removed hopefully it will also not allow me to connect 
so you can see that now it's not allowing me to connect with the first one but if I try with the third one it will allow me to connect because that's active one in the account so you can see that the third one is working that means third one is active one so I can again if I want to uh, remove all the pack from this particular user that means I don't want to allow this user to connect with anything else I can remove all the pack from here so let me just quickly remove all the pack and now if I go here and say list me all the pack for the user there will be no rows because I have removed everything now even if I want uh, I will not able to connect with any of the user let me quickly try with this the third one right if I come here and if I say exit and then retry it will say not valid not allow me to connect all right see didn't allow me to connect because pat is already invalid so this is all about 